Hello everyone! Welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is going to be the astrology forecast for Pisces. My dear Pisces, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this is the last constellation. <laughs> and for me, one of the most important constellations because here in Austria, I have the second ascendant and that is Pisces. And Pisces really, really reflects in my life very strongly. So let's see. Hopefully I don't go into tangents here explaining what's going on. Um, and there, another thing I want to share is I'm putting a link in the description box below where you can find out your moon and your ascendant sign as well as sun sign if you don't know what that is. So um, check it out and so you can watch all three videos that pertain to you and you get the bigger picture. So the 1st of December we have Venus entering Sagittarius. This is your 10th house of career. Now Venus here definitely um, um, helps. Venus has to do with creativity. It has to do with luxury. And it has to do with um, harmony and love and romance. And when she's sitting in your 10th house, that has to do with your career and your reputation and your how you're getting along with bosses and people around you in your career and all those higher ups, even government officials. Now, Venus tends to help you be able to present yourself. Now, it is Venus is in Sagittarius. Sagittarius has to do, again, also with higher officials, authoritative people like um, policemen and all. So Venus here definitely uh, gives you the ability to have harmonious feelings, have harmonious connections with these people and allows people to look at you in a nice light. Um, it is helping your reputation to look good and to be creative. You're coming across as a creative genius, perhaps, in, uh, in being able to make things work for you in your career. This is a good time to do a presentation and for all eyes to be on you and for them to be dazzled and, and um, you can just wonder, you know, <laughs> he was, I want to say in German, the Wunden, you can just really dazzle them and impress them if you do it, if you do in the beginning of December a presentation. Nevertheless, we have Mercury in shadow and then Mercury going retrograde on the 3rd of December, which tends to, yeah, there's this little conflict because Mercury, um, Venus has more, is the stronger one, okay, because she has lower degrees and Mercury's a little bit more further down the line um, in the constellation, at the end of the constellation. And um, Mercury has to do with communication and contracts and sales. And, and it could be that um, after, you know, you could, you could possibly... Um, be trying to make some kind of a of a of a deal of a contract or trying to make a presentation and and you come off friendly and harmoniously and so but uh, something in your communication um, is like a a sell fail <laughs> and in regards to business and careers. Um, the presentation doesn't go as you wish, though you come across as harmonious and and everything is really nice. But something, so you have to be really careful in regards to um, how you're presenting. Um, perhaps the computer or the monitor is not wanting to work when you're trying to do your PowerPoint presentation. Things of these tiny little things could happen in regards to technology fails. And in the middle of making a presentation or um, when you're trying to dis when you're having a one on one talk with your boss, um, it could be very harmonious.
that there could be some kind of miscommunication or, or mispresentation of the information that you have. Maybe they correct, oh, you got the date wrong, you know, little things like that, or this information is not up to date. Um, so you're having to reanalyze or re look at all your things that have to do. It's like having to redo things here in regards to career. Um, although you are presenting yourself in a wonderful, harmonious way, that is positive, okay? Now, if um, for some people it could, it could mean that there could be some kind of, uh, if you are single, you could be interested in someone in your career field, someone that that you have a connection with or that you know um, at your workplace. Um, um, with Venus here, Venus is um, helping you to be very harmonious with these people. These are people in... Um, it could also be in courses because Sagittarius is here in your 10th house. So it could be at your workplace. Um, maybe if you're if you're working at, at churches or um, courthouses, um, um, places that, that have to do where you have some kind of authoritiveness, maybe a group, a church group, a prayer group or so, um, could also be the thing in some and there's some kind of a, of a um, romantic connection with these kind of people. Okay, now if you're dealing with professors and teachers and so, you do have a harmonious effect with them. And um, if it is with the opposite sex, there could be like some flirtation going on. But you have to be careful, there could be some flirt bells going on. Depending if you were born with Mercury retrograde on your chart, then it could go okay for you because it's going with your DNA. You're able to handle that Mercury retrograde if you have Mercury retrograde in your birth chart. If not, <laughs> if not, then you can, some things can, you can, like I say, be talking to them harmoniously making a joke and then um, it didn't come out the way you wish it would come out and it's like oh did I say that you know maybe that was just a little bit too raunchy of a joke you know too black humored or something of that sort because Mercury is this joker wants to communicate with Venus he's either wanting to flirt or wanting to make a joke and wanting to be happy and harmonious um, but it could come out the wrong way Though you're lucky in the beginning of the month, Venus has the stronger, is is stronger, okay? But then after around two weeks, you know, they fly, uh, um, Venus, um, Mercury is, goes, um, becomes lesser, has lesser degree as he's retrograding, and Venus passes him up, and then Mercury has the stronger than, uh, is the stronger one where, where he, he can then ruin um, the communication with anyone that you have a romantic um, romantic feelings for. Now, <laughs> if you have Mercury retrograde in your birth chart, it could just happen to be the day where you have some kind of a, um, where it is a good day for you to communicate how you feel romantically for someone or a good day for you to make that presentation and to make that sell because you are um, um, people who were born with Mercury retrograde tend to be very, you know, really looking at every little detail on how they are coming across and they're being very articulate and people born with Mercury retrograde they tend to have like a broken record in their head when whatever they say, you know, they think about it over and over and over and over again. Did I say that right? And before they say anything, they 
they they think within themselves, you know, how do I say this? And they might practice before presenting themselves, and and um, but whatever they say, they always think about, did I say the right thing? Did 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 I communicate it right? And but when Mercury goes retrograde, for people who were born with retrograde Mercury, then Mercury is they're flowing with that with that energy to where they're able to to get their point across where they're able to share how they feel um, and so that energy works better for them nevertheless the person that they're talking to um, they have to be careful because the person that they're talking to um, may not have mercury retrograde in their chart and they may come across they may then, you know, have some miscommunication uh, problems there with their Mercury and, and you know, going retrograde in, in depending on what chart their house is. So, um, people, uh, nevertheless, it's not a good time to get into some kind of a contract in regards to your career, um, um, or you don't want to make someone, uh, uh, you don't want to sell anything to anyone because um, that person if you if you're a salesman for your career and you try to sell something you may really come across very well and you and you are able to get that sell you know happen make that sell happen but then the person who has not mercury retrograde <laughs> that person when Mercury goes forward, will say, I changed my mind, I don't really think I want to be in this contract, and I want out of it, and then you'll have problems with them afterwards. So if you know this, if you know this, you don't want to get in a contract, a business contract, or, or start a relationship at the workplace during this time. Mercury's going retrograde until about the 22nd or 23rd of December, depending where you live. Now after that, in, in the beginning of January, that's much, much better um, um, for you to, you know, get your groove on, especially because on the 25th of December, Venus, Emperor, Venus enters Capricorn, which is also your career house, and um, it, Capricorn belongs in the 10th house, which is your career house. But it, then it goes into your 11th house that has to do with your friendship, but in Capricorn, okay, that has to do with your career. So, um, what doesn't happen in December could uh, be much, much better after the 25th of December, after Christmas. So, yeah, there may have been some little uh, miscommunication bumps in December, in the beginning of December. Um, Having perhaps um, um, not the not being able to communicate with your boss or so, or having the right presentation um, um, in the middle of the month, um, your communication, what you're saying, is hurting your reputation, and so. But then, when Venus, when Mercury goes forward, things start to go become much better not the day it goes forward on <laughs> but thank goodness that's the holidays anyway <laughs> but watch out what you say on Facebook that you don't hurt your reputation you know that that you're not sending naked Santas on Facebook <laughs> and hurting your reputation through communication um and the internet uh so uh, with Venus going in December, it's like you're getting a second chance to make that love happen with someone within your career, with someone that you're working with, a second chance to present yourself to your boss, to show yourself to your boss. And Venus is coming into this constellation where, where um, um, Pluto is sitting, and Pluto is very sexual planet and Venus too and when those two get together then there's definitely this sexual tension and there's another asteroid that also has to do with with um, relationships in Capricorn I have to figure out I have to look that one up for my weeklies but um, I think I'll stick with that I'll do the asteroids only in my weeklies to get specific details okay so this is in your 11th house of friendship so or people that 
you have a um, um, who are in your network circle okay so there's <laughs> it could be someone that you work with in your career that you see as a friend um, it could be just someone that uh, a, um, a client someone of your network circle um, that you're feeling this hot chemistry sexual tension with okay and and things are you have a better better chance especially we have Mars and Scorpio in your ninth house um, Mars is uh, really making you want to make things happen in your ninth house wanting to try your luck in regards to sexuality because Mars belongs to Scorpio and Scorpio is a very sexual constellation so at the end of the month, um, it's going to get really <laughs> intense. You're going you're gonna to be more um, challenging yourself to go for it, to make it happen. You're um, um, with people who are of the ninth house. Either people you have that you know at school, university, prayer groups, church, uh, religious places, meditational places, courses. Okay, Mars is in Scorpio in your ninth house. You know, uh, higher officials, gurus. Hopefully not with nuns and priests because they're not allowed to have any kind of sexual contact with anyone. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, and then we have on the 20th of December, we have Saturn entering Capricorn in your 11th house. Now, Saturn loves the 10th house and the 11th house. Makes you work really, really hard. So, probably Pisces people felt like they had to work extra hard. And in, and in the beginning, um, when Saturn entered, maybe your career was, you know, having really hard time. And and then Saturn um, uh, try to make things work for you, but you found like you were have having a lot of work to do. Nevertheless, you had work, <laughs> right? And and your reputation grew, and who you are as your reputation was blessed. In the beginning, you had to do a little polishing up, you know, especially if you were were not of higher you know, older or higher vibration, Mercury definitely had to shine up your your reputation, okay, uh, or how you come across to authoritative figures or how your relationship uh, was with authoritative figures. Now, when Saturn enters Capricorn, we have Pluto sitting here. Pluto is a, um, that, you know, a sexual planet, that um, secretive planet, that manipulative planet, or the um, a jealous planet. Um, when Saturn comes here, if there's anything, if there's any kind of jealousy going on within your friendships, Saturn is going to try to um, have you deal with these things if you feel like your friends are jealous of you, if you feel like um, that your friends are manipulating you or they're um, um, not being right with you, then you're starting to feel like these toxic people in my life, I have to let them go. If they are, um, you may be feeling like they are, um, because that, that uh, Capricorn, I mean Pluto, Pluto and Capricorn definitely felt like there could have been a friend who was um, um, exerting their power. You are having a power struggle with them. And um, yeah, definitely felt this myself as a Pisces person, you know, and, and, and I wrote about this, you know, toxic friends and feeling like, um, you know, <laughs> if, if, they have two sides. I mean, why would I be their friend in the first place if they weren't really cool and if they weren't loving and kind to me? But the thing is, is that, you know, I have a friend who has a drinking problem. And when 
when this person drinks, I don't know them anymore and nor do I appreciate how they treat me or nor do I appreciate, you know, how they talk to me or talk me down or belittle me in front of all the people in the worst, most horrible, most disgusting, most, I can't even begin to say it without even getting into the story, how bad this person treats me when they're drunk. And um, so Saturn is going to come in and either you're going to have to confront your friend and tell them, homie, don't play this way, okay? You're going to have to treat me better or sayonara out of my life or that we don't go partying anymore because I don't appreciate you uh, over drinking and treating me like poo-poo in front of the whole world and making me feel like like this, you know? So... Um, um, there could be different scenarios where, um, uh, friends, of uh, how they treat you, you know, that was just one, because there's actually, like, two, three people <laughs> in my friendship Christ circle as a Pisces person with, with, um, with Pluto sitting here, how they sort of manipulated me and mistreated me, and, um, and, yeah, and so it's either I have to finally, when Saturn comes in here, I have to finally confront them and say, you know, something's got to change on how you talk to me and how you're being, you know, um, exerting your power over me and, and um, making me work hard or so, because Saturn Capricorn has to do with career. It could be a friend in the career. It could be a boss who's a friend who's making you go through a struggle, and when Saturn comes here, it's time to clean this situation up, time to deal with it, time to see that situation in the eye. Saturn won't allow you to just let it pass and not to say anything because you like them or you don't want to create a, um, um, any kind of, of um, any kind of, you don't want to rock the boat, say, you know put it that way, <laughs> and and so um, definitely are going to have to deal with the situation because Saturn is going to, when he waltzes in, he's going to say, okay, I'm here, this is my house, and it's time to clean up, and he's going to clean it up, you know, real hard in the beginning, and it could mean that you lose certain friends in your life. And in two years um, before he leaves, he's going to bring Saturn also has, you know, you see an image of Saturn and it's an old man, very wise. So what happens is once he starts to clean up and he makes room and he gets rid of the ones who don't, who are not good for you, he tends to bring the wiser ones into your life. Wiser friends older friends, mature friends, more spiritual friends, people who are for your highest good, who are for you, who are pro you, okay? But you have to get rid of the, Saturn's going to get rid of those who are immature, who are, who are um, not treating you right, and, and bringing you down, and making you look this little in front of everyone, and disrespecting you in some form or way, okay? Those who, who uh, Saturn's very a very moral planet, very karmic planet. So he can make really bad situations happen where you said, that's it, I had enough, I'm not going to deal with this person anymore. That was the last straw. So you may be feeling that last straw in the end of December or in the beginning of, of January where you say, I had it. So when you go back to work, if you had a, a, a some kind of a of a vacation, and when you go back to work, then you might have that that hit the wall, and you say, "That's it. I had it with this friend." Maybe you went partying with them, and then you know that was the last straw. Now on the twentieth of December, when Saturn enters Capricorn, something else is happening. That is Mercury retrograde. What did I write here? Um, my little notes. Um, so Neptune, <laughs> Mercury retrograde 
squares Neptune. Okay, so this is very interesting, Neptune, the house, and this is in Pisces, so um, definitely going to, uh, some something from the past, some issues from the past are going to come up to to be talked about. Um, so, uh, in regards to your friends, you might have to tell them, like, do you remember that time when blah, 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 and, and they may say, like, why didn't you tell me about it back then, or whatever, and, and you may just have to bring certain issues from the past, um, in regards to talking to your friends, and, and have to deal with, with these things, okay, so, and it's a square. Square is not good. It's like tension, okay, in regards to talking. So that was the general astrology. <laughs> um, we have also Venus in Capricorn. So this is also very interesting. Now, if you have Mercury retrograde in your in your birth chart, then it, it could come out a little bit better where you're able to really um, say what you need to say in the best way. Now, uh, it's also good to write it down or to get it. Um, if you have Mercury retrograde, then that will probably serve you the best. You don't want to do any kind of writings that will hurt you in the future, okay? Um, be careful what you write to your boss. But um, it may be that you have to prove that you... That you um, yeah, just be careful <laughs> what you write or what you say with your with your boss or with friends or um, that you don't want to burn bridges. Nevertheless, for those who are not of your highest good, Saturn's going to get rid of them anyway. So, hugs and kisses, my dear Pisces. I wish you the best and merry merry Christmas, happy new year. Look in the description box below to learn what your um, sun and moon signs are as well as your sun sign if you don't know that yet, okay? Goodbye!